took on a complex topic. Uh, we looked at immigration and border security issues in a way that wasn't simple. We wanted to go beyond the hype. Um, we brought in 36 speakers. We made sure to bring our group to 10 different venues throughout Rio Grande Valley. We really asked our audience to lean in. We started off our morning at Sacred Heart Church and it was really a spiritual experience for so many. So many told me how much they were emotionally moved just by being in that setting, walking in and seeing stacks of clothes all around, being able to see the real faces of those who are the, the, the undocumented immigrant and those who are working with them. We had Sister Norma Pimentel who's been the leader in, in this area on working with a surge of unaccompanied minors attending to their humanitarian needs, being an advocate for them, and responding, and really bringing a coalition of persons to respond to their humanitarian and social needs. We uh, presented to the group uh, an understanding of what we're doing here in, in, in this area, of why we are responding to help so many families that are coming from, from Central America, moms with their kids, and help them understand the reality uh, as far as statistics and as far as facts as to why families come, why the children are here, and why we're helping them. The Valley is, is home for me. I was born and raised, um, and when I became a, a member of the organization, I was honored. But unfortunately, there's a lot of perceptions that exist in our state and our nation about the border. So it was important for me, for Owen and Merrill, to try to go ahead and peel back the onion and talk about the facts and the realities of the border. And I think that the challenge is always going to be is how you measure success. If citizens are going to dedicate a substantial amount of money towards activities, you want to make sure those activities actually achieve what you're trying to achieve, the desired outcomes. And it's not always about the numbers, because we can produce numbers all day long. It's what have we achieved. We had the, our Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick, speak. We had State Senator Chuy Hinojosa also do a presentation. We had presentations from the leaders in border security. We had the uh, border security chief of this area speak to us, as well as uh, Sara Saldana come in and explain to us about what the work ICE is doing. I hope they got out of the talk that uh, their tax dollars are being well spent. You've got what sounds like a lot of people, 20,000 working uh, an issue that is enormous that's facing this country and you get every dollar's worth out of uh, each one of us. We're really trying hard to make the country safer and that's what we're, our goal is. I mean obviously immigration is a huge issue in Texas and a huge issue all over the United States right now and I think it's important that, that people involved in politics and in the public sphere know the facts and, and you know draw on those facts and, and bring that to the, to the immigration conversation. We went past 9 o'clock last night having two more panels at the most beautiful ranch um, uh, outside of town, just absolutely gorgeous, where we had the chair of the Homeland Security uh, for the, the House of Representatives, uh, Congressman McCall, and we also had our United States Senator, uh, John Cornyn, speak to us about policies and about where they see the future of, of immigration reform and border security and what, what is needing to be done. And then we finished our content-rich day with a panel of dreamers and who came and shared their stories, shared what, what uh, immigration reform would mean to them, mean to their family, and it was, a, it was all in all a very impactful day, an educated day, and the Texas Lyceum has really leaned into it. Well, here we are on the Rio Grande River. Uh, one side of us is Texas, the other side is Mexico. In fact, that's Mexico behind me. Uh, as we're rolling down the river here, uh, these are international waters. And part of the experience that we really want to deliver this weekend was not just to hear about the policy, although that's hugely important, and we've had a lot of really interesting debate and dialogue about immigration and border security. But today, our objective was to really let people experience in the field what we're talking about throughout the weekend. So we have a group of us going down the river. We have some people going on border patrol tours, getting line tours uh, along the wall and along uh, the, the gates and going through processing. Uh, we have some people that are actually going up in helicopters with DPS so they can get a bird's eye view of what we're dealing with in terms of immigration and border security.
on the first night, our uh, one of my co-chair Merrill, uh, she asked for the Lyceum to lean in this weekend, just lean into this issue, and they have done that. One of the great things about the Lyceum is that nowhere else could you have a conversation in such an open way where everyone is just here to learn and they will listen to all sides. We weren't asking for any solutions. What we really wanted was people to be able to bring back to their communities a sense of what is really happening on the border. I think we got there, you know, afterwards people were just in awe. And it's one thing to talk about these issues, it's really another thing to get an experience with it firsthand and that, that's one thing that really distinguishes the Lyceum experience. We bring these topics to life.